What's going on, everybody? This is the Uncanny Omar with... Astonishing Melanie. And... TikTok Tina. Adjective Liss Alicia. <laughs> and... Miss Lydia. Where are we going today? Free comic book day! Shopping! Woo! Yay! <laughs> so stay tuned! All right, we're on our way to hit up some free comic book stores. We got four on the map. Melanie's guiding us. Five, 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 five. on the map. Melanie's gonna guide us. So join us on this journey. Yay! 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 Yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> First stop, comic interlude. Let's check this one out. Lydia over here with the anime figures. Lydia. Now that's a free comic book day. Did you say something else I have? No, Lucy has. Oh, yeah, that's an older one. Look at that band press, though, from Glitter and Glamorous. Super Sonic Run. Let's see over here. Oh, look. They have Thundercats, an Hour Man figure, and some Power Rangers. So it's not just about comics. Lydia, check out that Optimus Prime statue. Oh. It's on top of the Iron Man ones. Wow, that one's cool. There goes Melanie buying things because she's breaking them. Were you filming film fast? Of course I did. I like people making mistakes in filming. I do it all the time. So here's all the new comics from DC in alphabetical order. Wait, not just DC because Barbarella. I think this is a Titan comic, isn't it? Or Dynamite. Dynamite. And then some trades up there. Speaking of, there's some essentials you haven't seen for a while. Still in print. Masterworks and Omnis. And then the showcases, which was the DC version of the essentials. Not quite a bit. Some of these are out of print. I think Aliens no. 2 is out of print right now. Are you looking for anything? And I know I saw another book. There's some Conan Omnis, Captain America Volume 3. I like the spine design for this era. Fourth World by. Jack Kirby right here. I like those designs too. I think those were Chip Kid designs, if I'm not mistaken. So from time to time, this is where you find some stuff that's out of print. And then some absolutes here at the end. Is that what catches your eyes, Tina? Yeah, of course. What is that? What'd you pick up? A steak. Who printed that? I can read this. Scout Comics? It's Scout Comics. Oh, Scout. reading level four. Lydia, you are above level four. What is wrong with you? Oh, that's a cool cover. Hello, Scout? Some old trades up at the top. The simile editions, I think. Yeah. Hey, Alicia, Mighty Marvel Masterworks. That's all we got to do a review of. And X titles deserve their own shelf. I didn't know they were doing digest size of these new X Men. Uh, lots of trades up at the top, some out of print, some discontinued, and then the single issues down here. And single issues have variant covers too. 
like, I'm not saying that like it's breaking news or anything. I'm just saying that that they actually put the variant covers with the standard covers. Oh my gosh, Alicia, look. Savage Land Wolverine. Yeah, that is impressive. You're right. <laughs> oh, yeah. From Infinity Gauntlet to Optimus Prime. Yes, Lydia, what is it? Not only out of print manga, but VHS. Of Escaflone, that's crazy. Back then, manga titles were like one or two words. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look how faded this Karikano is. I mean, some of the stuff is long gone. Look at that. Those are the Tokyo. original Ranma releases now, man. Tokyo Pop Sneaks. Fall 2003. Ah, the glory days. <laughs> Steam Detectives. Love that. Now I'm on Sanctuary Classics. Stop number two, A Plus Comics. Or. A plus comics and collectibles. Wait, where's me? What's the best character on that banner right there, Lydia? Whoa. Lydia, if you Oh my god. Okay, close. Close. Kickback, not even hot rod? You're not my daughter. Wolverine. We have some cases here with 10% off toys for free comic book day. Some Ninja Turtles and pop figures, but here we go. Some Transformers. I need that Gyaxis. Oh, wow. It's Megatronia. With Fox. Yeah. Oh, some G1. That's a pretty good G1 Ironhide there, Huffer. Lydia, they have a complete kickback. A G1 jick kickback. Wow. Like legit G1 kickback. Blaster. Uh, you have that blaster, Alicia. I know. I was just saying, blaster. 40 bucks is a blaster. I think it's 90, right? No, that's 40. So is Optimus. Tina's over here checking out Evil Lim with pants on. It's not even the good Evil Lynn. Like yeah, but that Evil Lynn's like going to work yeah. professional. Evil Lynn. There's a thing to be said about the ladies. And <laughs> <laughs> professional attire. Some people are into that. Yeah. Sure. Oh, I'm going to get that. 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 Oh, I'm King Conan, just sitting somewhere, waiting for me. But this is free comic book day, so let's find some free comics. So we have some free comic book days from last year, a couple years ago. That's cool. Prices, where is the Conan book? Because I got Uncanny Avengers and I got Spider-Man and Venom. But where is... Conan. Uh oh. Hmm. Ah, the free comic book day finds of trades and hardcovers for five bucks. It's a great deal. Usually I pick some stuff up to give away. Some Civil War in here, Detective Comics from New 52, Wonder Woman from New 52. Passageway. This one's kind of. This one's nine dollars. It's from Image. I was gonna say that one's kind of new. Deadpool, the complete collection. That one's a little more. That one's twenty. We have a manga section here, and then toys above the comics, and then back issues. What are you doing, looking at the back issues for? Don't you be looking for what I think you're looking for. And then right now it's buy two get one free on the trades. Look. Oh, Look at these yeah, 90s. Can you get it those. on camera? Yeah, of course. Yeah, hologram. Nice. And then they have one for let's see, do they have the amazing one? Uh there's only three. Yeah, they also have an amazing one. You should get them for nostalgia's sake. Seriously, those are kind of cool covers. I don't know why I'm saying single issues. This is our home of collected editions. Rip lock and put them on the wall. 
-hmm. Please don't do that. Mm -hmm. I have some Omnis and trade paper bags from Image, DC, Marvel, IDW, Dark Horse, some older stuff like hey, the Essentials. What are these? I, I gave them away. Oh, because they're artists, this and um, there were some that they did for like Claremont. Look, they have shirtless bear fighter too. Oh, which wow. we don't have yet. I need to pick that up. I didn't know it existed. Yeah, let's pick okay. that up today. Support local comic book stores. Let's get that and get a couple other books. Older collected editions over there, and newer collected editions over here, including including and Kenny Omar talk pretty one day and including the creepy archives now they're releasing these in trade paperback format so i know it's not hardcover reprint but at least it's a good start uh, but yeah these are some of the trades some of the most recent ones that have come out from marvel dc image and other independent publishers while it's not comic book related there are some comic book characters though uh, we're going to stop at the toy headquarters here in Lexington, Kentucky. Maybe do a little filming in here. All right, so we got some old toys and some pop figures, some Build-A-Figures. Yeah. Wrestling. Toys, Pops, and Dragon Ball Z over here. Some of the ones from Irwin. And then eventually when Bandai got it here in America. So old stuff, new stuff, kind of a mix and match. Oh my gosh, some original carded Ninja Turtles. Well, I don't collect those. <laughs> it's just nice to look at. Yes. All right, let's look over here. We got some Kaiju up there. Some Predator from NECA. Uh, I come so close to buying some of those from time to time. movie there and Simpsons I know they had a X-Men six-player arcade one uh, at one time here when my kiddos and I came here but it looks like we have some DC figures here from the McFarlane line yes there's a um, $600 original uh, art from Jimmy Samaritan's paint. Oh, wow. I didn't even notice that. That's really cool. I know my buddy Omnidog owns an original Peanuts art. There you go. And an original sketch from uh, yeah. Charles Schultz himself. Because he wrote him a letter. Because he wrote him a letter when he was a kid. Sure did. Oh. Omnidog. I'm going to go this way. <laughs> Look at the Marvel Legends over here. Some build the figures some loose figures <gasps> Lydia Transformers the Cringer, oh the like Cringer the up there what do you call those? Little Kids to Ride On Little Kids to Ride On Toy Toy. <laughs> you're so good with words a bounce a bouncer no oh wow they have the uh, the build a kin of Vol what is his name Volcanius uh, it's the Dinobots Vol combiner but it's got the third party mm. Wait, why are you playing Toy some some G one down there, and then some more DC and Black Star. Oh my gosh, my brother and I love that stuff. We found some at Big Lots when we were kids. We thought we <laughs> we were gonna collect them all. No, no, just two of them. I think made it to Big Lots, and then that was it. Lisa, they have Mario Kart, Pokemon. Down there, oh, Wily Kitten, Wily Cat, which I think finally Super Seven's coming out with some. Oh, that blade! Hey, you were just talking about. What's your favorite reboot character, Lucy? I like Hackers. Oh my gosh! She said Colossus looks like Rachel. Please, what? That's that's crazy. Who's their child? Then we have some statues over here. Star Wars and I remember seeing some prototypes at this place a while back and of course some more Marvel Legends these are in box and complete which I know some people like but I don't mind getting them opened 
I don't need all the build of figures I just collect the X-Men ones or X-Men related ones but of course that's a huge rabbit hole right now I'm actually looking for danger so I gotta see if they have a danger and I think that's it for Marvel Legends for me until the next batch that they're coming out with and more Star Wars and wrestling which a lot of wrestling but lots of Star Wars loose and in the package so we have some Gundam here my hero academia Tina what's the invisible girl in my hero academia that's an awesome figure I don't remember you don't remember that one Toru Toru thanks thank you thank you so much oh they got some figures Captain Ginyu oh I like that one what's the purple guy's name in my hero Meta. No, thank you, thank you. I figure my daughter would know. Ask me in. Tina, you're the worst otaku. Right? Wonder how much. All right. What? No, Tina. I cut you off. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go you wonder what? No, go. No, I'm sure. I gotta tell you where to turn. I, I know. Left. Why are you recording? Uh, I'm recording because right. this is an adventure, of Alicia. Right. I gotta go right. Okay. So, two more comic book stores to go. Family pop quiz. When is Wolverine's first appearance? It's not your Melanie. Hulk 183. Am I close? God. Uh, 184. No. If this was the 182. Yeah. Is it 180 something? It is 180 something. Okay. Five. No, six. No, seven. No. Eight. Oh nine, my gosh. Zero. This is so One. embarrassing. One. Yes. Finally. Right. Third. Oh my gosh. Never mind. I try to remember. We'll it's cut this out. We're cutting this out. Palindrome. All right. All right. Alicia, <laughs> who's your favorite character that you've read about in Mighty Marvel Masterworks? Daredevil. Okay, Miss Lydia, your turn. Who's your favorite character you've read about from Mighty Marvel Masterworks? Submariner. Submariner. Wow, really? Okay. And TikTok Tina? Yes. Who's your favorite character of all time? Uh, comic wise? No. Movie. Jubilee. 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 <laughs> what was her first appearance? Uh, in 19. Was it 81? No, God, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not much of a gatekeeper, but man, do I want to gatekeep you with your favorite character. No, go ahead. Uncanny X Men two, two. Come on, Tina. Uncanny X Men two. Saying the years. Two, 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 two hundred and forty-two. Close. We have forty-one. No, wrong way. Two hundred forty-three. No. Forty-five. Forty-six. No, did you skip forty-four on purpose? Forty-nine. You skip forty-four on purpose. Two forty-four. My gosh, cut. Next up, the vault, which is in a very interesting location. Oh, we'll check it out. Oh, okay. We got some toys in here behind. Oh, I used to have that. And I gave it to my buddy Ben. Now, these are cool with Lord Dracon right there, or Dracon. And the comics. What'd you find? Deadpool, Art of War? And it's Peter David. And how much is it? Because I think it's on sale. Or maybe, oh. I thought it was. Is what this something new? No, I think there was uh, some restock on some trades that Marvel was clearancing out. I think that might have been one of them. So, here's all the comics over here. So we got some trades down here. Underneath the ongoing comics that this pretty lady's looking at. Why you would know, you make a noise back, like that? Back, back issues aren't as old as they used to be. No, it just means we're getting older. <laughs> Not that back issues aren't older. It's just that we're getting older. Oh my goodness. I got some CGC. And what are you all looking at, children? Mm -hmm. Junior Mints. Look at that kid having a blast. Flipping through comics. You better be flipping through those comics right now. And you? What did you find? Some Keanu Reeves Berserker? I mean, why are you looking through Berserker and Walking Dead? Those are not for you. You're too young for that. There we go. I'm Silver Surfer, Alicia. 
making a quick stop at Half Price Books because sometimes they have trades here on sale. That helped find Isaac Asimov. That's not a comic book. It's free comic book day, not Isaac Asimov day. <laughs> and toys, pop figures, and that's real. Can I get this? You never, no, you can't get that. Are you kidding me? Why would you even ask? You're in trouble for even asking, Lydia. That's Coco Melon. Why? No. Whoa, look at that. They have some Final Fantasy pictures. What? No, leave me alone. All right, so we got some Mongo over here. Like the Attack on Titan in color. And, ooh, I actually need some of Negima. I'll have to check my list. And you have some new Mongo. And then here is your Collected Editions graphic novels. You have some Marvel Masterworks here. See, that's why you have to check your half price books. Granted, sometimes when they think or they know things are out of print, <laughs> they put them behind the glass cases, like here. And they get ridiculously, oh my gosh, $200, $60, $200. And they'll spawn Avengers, but that's getting a reprint. I thought that was just reprinted. Interesting that they still have it for that price. So let's look over here, and what is this? All right, I'm gonna find out how much books are today, what the, if they are having a sale. Man, there's a couple of other books, like Nightfall sneaking on back there, sneaking in. And, well, Tina's here. Of course, she's looking at manga. Do you get Boys B, Tina? That looks like a you manga. Where? Boys B. Boys. I remember this is a uh, Tokyo Pop. No, I didn't. You, that's not you. Yeah, that's not me. Okay. And they also have single issues in here too. Actually, in order. Well, there's a little bit of order to these, but they do have single issue comics in here. So not just collected editions. Sometimes they have clearanced collected edition or editions right down there. And they have clearance comics too. And then there's stuff that's out of print, but not in the best condition too, that you'll find sometimes out of the comic book section, like over here with the role-playing games. So just gotta keep an eye out everywhere. Boy, those uh, modern epic lines of Daredevil are gonna put a damper on those prices for the Ultimate Collections. I don't know. Maybe people still collect them. I know some people still collect the essentials and showcases. So, but yeah, this is where the out of print stuff goes. And my goodness. And then some of the stuff is like first printing. Still can't get over the $200 price right there. Wow. There's the key. I forgot about the KISS compendium. Complete Ben Riley epic right there. And then that OHC of Fall of the Mutants which they still sell for 175, but the Omnibus, which has the exact same thing, is still in print. Some stuff down here. Elephant Man, which is now over at Dark Horse. So they have some pre-code classics here, and I've always wanted to check out what these look like because i talk about them on the upcoming collected editions on the channel but i always wanted to see what the restoration on these look like so i'm not sure if the video will capture it but this is kind of what the art looks like when it's scanned so this is what yeah like i said it's weird because it's spoiled by masterworks and even some of the dc archives too just how much love and care and time and of course money goes into restoring that stuff but these look like just straight up scans and it would cost an arm and a leg to actually restore all of this artwork uh, so i was always curious as to what the pre-code classics look like but 12.99 though and our last stop for today a plus comics 2 this used to be uh collectibles but a couple years ago they bought it out and here's the free comic book day let's let's check out what they have in here what are you kids looking at what did you find what did you find is it another needle nose oh my gosh will you two quit fighting it's a needle how much is that needle nose i don't know i love needle nose do you really yeah there's megatron okay he's there's not a dragon nose. 
How about a Cornelius? <laughs> needle nose. No, no needle nose. Tina, what are you finding? Uh, yeah, you found you a labyrinth and that's it. Man, comics of people. I mean, I'm happy to see that people grab comics up. That's cool. But I can't find a Conan. So they're having a buy to get one free here. There's all the Marvel trades, some Star Wars epics that are out of print. And here we go. Some of the Omnis like Jason Aaron's. Oh. Not Jason Aaron. John Burns. You fantastic. don't have this one. Yes, I do. What oh, is wrong? Do? What Dang is wrong? Dang it. I don't you? remember a blue spine. <laughs> yeah, I do. Here's this new Spider-Man Omnis. Wait, wait, you got this one? You got the She-Hulk? I do. Mm -hmm. Are there any you don't have? Yeah. This, you don't have this like, one? That's not an Omni. That's trouble. <laughs> I know, but it's not. That's the book. I know, the worst. I know. Okay, <laughs> you know. Okay. Why would you ask? They have some League down here. Red packs, which I wanted to get the box sets of those. And some Do apps. You have this one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. George okay, I already, I already I've got that one. one. The DC trades and absolutes over here. Then some of the Omnis over here. So, they they do have a quite a variety compared to some of the other places, though. And some stuff that's out of print. Oh, look at that small thing. Which one? The Absolute? Yeah. So, this is the one that was recolored by uh, Jose oh. Villarubia. So, it's closer to the colors. It's, it's, a, it's a nice one. I wish they had done the same thing with the Alan Moore's song thing. But who knows? Maybe when the Omnibus comes out one day, they'll do the original colors. I don't have this one. So I may end up getting that in a couple of trades. But here's the independent stuff. And some manga. Ah, uh, the Kadansha Love Hina Omnis. Is that... Sometimes there's gold and dollar comics, Melanie. Wait, that's not a dollar. These are discounted trades, graphic novels. Those are dollar, yeah. So these look to be about five dollars. Wait, which one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. That's some of the Bill Mantlo stuff with Mike Mignola. I think that that. Oh, Robin three thousand. Yeah, you're right. Mignola. Mignola. This is the old zero trade. The Kingdom, the follow-up to Kingdom Come without Alex Ross, but it is Mark Wade writing it. And then Alex Ross did his own follow-up with Thy Kingdom Come with Jeff Johns. But yeah, sometimes there's some good stuff in dollar comic bins. Get all the yellow. Did you say X Factor? New Universe. Universe. Yeah, son. Silent Mobius. Grim Jack. Yeah. It's back when this was releasing those in single issues. Choose to Look at that cover. Those were the glory days. <laughs> if you don't have a local comic book store, or LCB as we like to say in the biz. No, LCS. We don't say LCB <laughs> in the biz. <laughs> Second comic book. Check out our sponsors. If you're in Europe and you're interested in buying these books, definitely check out Walt's Comic Shop in Berlin, Germany. They have the cheapest pre-order prices, flat shipping rate of 12 euros for all EU countries, Emails answer within 24 hours, waltzcomicshop.com, and you can use the code near mint condition at checkout and get free shipping for all EU countries with your first order over 40 euros. That's Waltz Comic Shop, your reliable source for omnis and premium collected editions in Europe. Ding! Cheapgraphicnovels.com, your online home for graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. They have excellent shipping and prompt and helpful service. Check out their bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. And don't forget that CGN also takes pre-orders. That way you don't miss out on the hottest releases. And they are currently running a special promotion for you Minties. If you're a first time customer, after receiving your order confirmation email, reply back to that email and let them know Near Mint Condition sent you their way. They will then apply a free shipping promotional credit to your next order in the US. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with a kind of deep discount, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. So that's a wrap for Free Comic Book Day 2023. And I got my Conan. So we got, got some comics, trades, we got some free comics, we got some games. Tina got a statue of Lugo from Labyrinth. Ludo. Ludo. 
right, whatever. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Smash that like button. And I hope you all had a wonderful free comic book day 2023. Stay healthy and safe out there. Stay minty. Stay minty. Stay minty, sure.